shadow and substance, whose boundaries are that of the imagination, and that river over there. That's a signpost up ahead. Your next stop, the afternoon zone. <laughs> Dude, get what I was doing there? The twilight zone, man. Anyway, check it here, boys and girls. Welcome to the rainforest, whose name the locals have forbidden me from trying to pronounce. We'll rest and water ourselves here for a bit. Oh yeah, we can all remove our blindfolds now. I have to admit, this is quite a surprise. It didn't seem like you were in the car for more than a half hour. No, trust me, we were driving for much longer than that. Um, it must be the jet lag or, or something like that. Anyway, just enjoy the surroundings. <laughs> Don't worry about how we got here. And the weather is pretty nice. Kind of odd for a rainforest. Not at all like the weather on safari. Have I told you guys about my trip to Africa? Has the story changed since you told it three minutes ago? <laughs> I was on a hike in search of some close-up footage of the big game. You know, lions, elephants, water buffalo. The sun beat down on our heads, but we kept pressing forward in search of the perfect photo op. Then, all of a sudden, a giant bull elephant right in front of me, not much further away than you are right now. I wanted to take a picture, but I was afraid that if I moved, it would charge. To my right, I heard my guide cock his rifle and prepare to shoot. Take a look around. Put down your camera for a moment. Just take it all in. Hmm, aren't these plants a little bit plasticky? Well, anyway, the elephant. I waved my guide back, took a couple steps in closer, and snagged this awesome shot of me with the beast. Went straight on my vlog. Dude, you turned your back on a wild elephant? Pretty stupid, bro. What was I supposed to do? No one cares about a story. The proof is in the picture. Well, you're lucky to have gone to Africa, man. Elephants are amazing. Do you know how they communicate? They talk through the ground by sending waves to other elephants, like a telegraph. But only elephants can feel it. To realize that elephants are just like us, talking, thinking, isn't that awesome? Uh, I, I didn't catch that on camera. Well, of course you didn't. It's not something you record. It's something you experience. But what, what's the point of an experience? I can't use that as a profile thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother, Carlos. He said in his ways, always one eyed clothes, the other permanently glued to his viewfinder. Oh, hey guys, I don't think I've told, shown you this photo of me in Antarctica before. Ah, uh, I wish I had my laptop with me to show you. I used my GPS to track my hike across the glacier and overlaid it on a satellite image. Red tracks zigzagging across the white ice, I made quite a mark. And hey, check it out. This photo of me summoning Vincent Massif like a champion. Yeah, my dad said he went there last year with his research laboratory. He said it was pretty bleak. Wide open spaces, fields of ice as far as I can see. Kind of puts your whole world view in perspective. David, didn't you think so? Are you kidding me? This guy is a rock star! Oh, Rosen, watch yourself! You almost stepped to that poisonous snake! Do you recognize it? <laughs> Wait, why, why is it not moving? I think he must have stunned it or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I totally see it now. I've seen this bugger before. Ah, I've got an awesome action shot of me with it. Here, here, let me find it, just a sec. Carlos, Carlos, I don't think this is working. Don't worry, dude, it'll hit him eventually. Oh, here it is, take a look. This always happens. David, David, come here. Just a sec. Hey guys, it's me, David the Goliath here, in the rainforest in the middle of God knows where. But it's pretty exciting. Oh my gosh, there he goes again, getting more videos for stupid blood. Hey, hey guys, have I shown you this photo? Listen, do you hear the sounds of the rainforest? Symphony of nature.
Yeah. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Check out this tree, guys. The way these vines wrap around it. It's so solid. Almost like PVC piping or something. <laughs> hey, can you grab a picture of me with it, Olivia? Sure, you It's pretty cool. All right. All right. One, two, more. Three. All right. Does that look okay? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Wait, what about that rock formation over there? I can barely make out what it says underneath those vines, but it looks like some sort of shrine to a sacred blue and white eagle. The Uspis tribe. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it seems pretty important. Hey, Carlos, grab it. Grab a shot, will you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it. This whole trip is wasted if you drop this baby. Oh, totally forgot I had this picture of me in Hawaii. Have I shown it to you guys before? Anybody else been there? Oh, didn't think so. Well, when I grabbed this picture, I was on a hike to a waterfall. Mere inches of crumbling soil standing between me and a cruel rendezvous with certain death. But, you know, I've done a lot of traveling before, so I kept pressing on forward. And I made it to the waterfall. Well, that's where this picture happened, but not quite yet. First of all, I saw a cave behind the waterfall. Most people might be afraid of, you know, the creepy, wet, dank hollows of a cave, but after all, you guys have seen me taking on full elephants, that snake back there. Pretty excited about going inside of this cave. So, you know, I went right in. It was pretty cool. And that's where I grabbed this photo of me in the backside of water. Not something you see every day. Nothing like Disneyland. Anyway, well, yeah, so I kept on going and, yeah. Have you guys seen this photo before? Guys? Carlos? Where's the rainforest? Where am I? Have I shown you this photo of me and... <laughs> guys? Have I told you the story about... <coughs> oh, there you are! Have I shown you the story about me when I went to Africa? <laughs> <laughs> You 